so the inner clothing if you want to cut if, if, if it's a clothing i don't know but we're all scaly so now their hands begin to protrude through the jacket ahaya now allow me to see the hands and the hands were that of very similar to the entity today mar to be honest with you very very similar i've done the screenshot right but it was almost Hold on, brothers and sisters. Just, just bear with me, cause I wanted. This is, this is very, very important. All right. It was almost um, of a reptile, hmm. alligator, crocodile. Um, almost of a reptile hand. Let me see if it can come up so I can explain to you. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, it was almost like this. I'm going to show it to you. Oh, Father God. This is exactly how it looks. Scaly. That was a hand. But, but the difference is that it was webbed. It had web through it. You know what I mean by webbed? I thought it would come up. But I thought, what, what animals got web? So the hands and the feet. Because the Lord showed me the feet. And the feet were so broad. But the coat was so long. If you weren't looking properly in the vision, you'd, you'd have missed it. Right? So there was like web in between the, in, in between the hands. I think it's a hands. I don't know if it's a hands or, or a crocodile foot. <laughs> one of those, one of the two. Right? So it, they had like webs in between. Webs, webs, webs in between. And I said to myself, Father God of creation. Oh, yes. All right. Thank you, Lord. I've seen kind of like a betterish one. Not really better, but can you see what I'm talking about? Okay. The web. Can you see the web I'm talking? That like a skin in between the, the fingernails. Yeah, it was all like that. But certainly it was scaly like that. Black. Black and scaly. Mm -hmm. Black and scaly, brothers and sisters. So they try to hide with the facial feature, but they look like the Avatar, that that um that movie, the Avatar. It's just that they didn't have the the catty face. But when you look at them, they look like the Avatar. Okay. They had a red headband around their hair. Red headband, all of them, kiddies as well. A red headband and when I look at their hair brothers and sisters it was fully dreadlocks I don't know if the avatar I've got any dreadlocks I'm, I'm not I'm not sure what they're having in the movie in the first movie avatar I don't know if it's a full dreadlocks they have or what but um let me just quickly look oh I don't think it's dread I think her hair is well I don't know what they've got there is it dread or braid or some plat plat up business going on, ain't it? With this one, some platting up business going on with that one. That's the hair. Well, these fallen angels were fully dreadlocks. They were they were not. It wasn't braid. It was a long braid. No, these were proper locks. Let me let me let me. This vision is so detailed i want to get it right over to you brothers and sisters as i begun to look at the dreadlocks i'm going to call it dreadlocks for now all right of these beads right it was almost as if um how can i put it now hold on brothers and sisters it was almost as if the dreadlocks was their skin I don't know if I'm if, 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 um, if you can understand what I mean. It looks like hair, but it don't. Look, <laughs> you know what I mean? It looks like it looks like the hair, but it don't look like the hair. <sighs> don't know, God Almighty, help us, Father, help us. You know the predator. 
Oh no, Shoshi nigga, predator business. I can't remember while I'm looking at it now. We don't know if that's his hair or metal. So that's that's a type of um thing I will um, I know I'm showing the predator a lot and I I am showing the predator a lot. Right. So with the predator, sorry to just put it up like you like that one. So with the predator, right, you don't know if it's the hair proper dread because the, the predator the, the made the predator with dreadlocks, isn't it? So in the vision with these fallen angels, they had the locks because it looks like locks. It really, really, really looks like dreadlocks. But then it looks like it's their own thick skin. Maybe yeah, thick skin with fur on it that looks like locks. That's how I can describe it. So imagine their skin growing out like a piece of stick. A long piece of stick in their head and then they got fur on it so it's a bit woolly very difficult to describe but I hope you get images, images of what's going on what the most I is showing me so these beings just believe that the humans have taken over the earth and they have no right and they want to have full dominance on the earth and they want to gain it through the dirty caesars and the pharaohs who knew that this was going to happen so like i said and i'm repeating myself so the aim of these fallen angel is to have dominance on the earth and number two so that their children could be accepted in the schools and be treated exactly like human but these creatures are creatures these entities are creatures you cannot pet them you cannot say oh well all right yeah they're from a different land so no they you will they will kill you because they they're not human they have no humanity constant evil even when you look at the kids even when you look at the fallen angel kid, which are these, that is fallen angel shape shifted into whatever, whatever. Because there's going to be a lot of shape shifting going on, isn't it, really and truly, when the colony comes to the earth. A lot of things are going to happen, brothers and sisters. Um, this is not the first vision I'm giving concerning fallen angels in school. The last one I gave is that schools all over the world finished early, well, in Babylon, UK, because the fallen ones. I've gone in the school and creating havoc. Why are the schools? Why are they, why why is the dirty Caesars and the dirty Pharaohs are conjuring up behind our backs for the fallen ones to take over our children and the schools? Why? Cause they know. And I do believe that the Pharaohs and the the Pharaohs and the, the Caesars are planning. They're conjuring up a plan. So that, this, that these, so that these fallen angels can have access to our schools. Whether they're going to come in and look human. So like I say, in the vision, these fallen angels with dreadlocks that were going out to love people. You have to really look good to realize that they weren't human. Their eyes gave them away. They were wicked as hell. Wicked. But like I said, in the vision, the first thing that came to me is, oh, they look like... The people, the Avatar, the movie Avatar. <coughs> Sorry. So that was the first thing when, when they began to speak. But like I said, they didn't have the, that cat features. But everything was human. But they still looked like the Avatar. But, you know, they just didn't have the blue skin. And the big cat ears. The ear were human being ears. But they were still fallen angel. But they told us. So that the hair to dominate and want the kids so you have to pay attention brothers and sisters to these vision you see sometimes a higher give us vision and the vision is for an appointed time though it may tarry it shall surely come to pass and there's a reason why a higher gave me the vision and show me how they look I don't want to make I'm gonna finish now I probably need to make a second video about this but I don't know how to feel about dreadlocks, brothers and sisters. 
I don't know. Because I know some people and, and you know, few children of the most I have dread. They have locks. And it's a big thing going on with black people right now. I can tell you that. Black people are locksing up their hair. They're having the dreadlocks. I don't know. I know some people use the Bible, isn't it? And they said, oh, well, Samson had seven locks. Seven or seven plats or locks or whatever it may be. Yeah. It's a tricky one. I'm not going to say too much on the dreadlocks business. Until when the Lord gives me more revelation. I will seek a higher concern in dreadlocks. And if it should be part of the body of Christ. Or the Hebrew Yashaelites. So I don't want to say too much. But seeing these fallen angels with dreadlocks. Brothers and sisters, I don't know. I, I don't know. So, I don't want to say too much about it. So, I will see the Lord and the dreadlocks business. But it was very prominent in the vision. The Lord showed it up. All right. He, he really, really did. All right. Okay, brothers and sisters. So, if I come to the end of the video, you have not accepted Yesiah. All right. We're going to do the top 21st, though. <laughs> Well, those are the top 20 first, all right. These are the top 20 beautiful beloved underneath the most style with the underneath, powerful video that I did. Come on, video, come on, where are you? Oh, devil is a lie. Cloning, isn't it? Did a powerful video concerning cloning and how the fallen angel basically the wicked kill off the human being flesh and the fallen one goes into it through ritual. It's not just done. Any and any oh no 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 it's got to done through the occultic for that fall it's just like I keep on mentioning the entity day Mara because it's a big massive one right in front of your eyes like literally that's a clone fallen angel clone not the real and um day Mara, all right sad really all right top 20 beautiful beloved video Sheva Ya Bat Israel Colleen Hello Stacy and Small Julie, Mayberry, M, Anthony, Pauline, Anderson, Patient, Ho, Mo, Kim, Hamilton, Rachel, Ikarabo, Paulette, Allen, Gage, In His Glory, um, Asana, Brownie, um, Jermaine, D, fix anything, Jermaine, D, Ida Hodu or Ya Yasarelu, all right. Peda Todd, uh, Kenesha Beauty, Sweet T, Joselle Cooper, Renita Miller, Abibi, Samson, Valerie Jarrett, um, Kane Siwa, uh, Lillian Wilson. And Audrey Anderson, right? These are the top 20 beautiful beloved in the most uh, high and powerful video clouding. Right, if I come to the end of the video, you have not accepted Yesiah as a Lord and Savior. Please, please say the sinner's prayer after me. We want you into the kingdom of Ahia. Dear Yesiah the Christ, I know that you are the son of Ahia, whom the world calls God. I believe that Yesiah have died on the cross for my sins. Yesiah, I thank you for dying for me. And I believe in your death, burial, resurrection, and that Ahia has raised you from the dead. I know with confidence that you are the son of Ahia, Yesiah, king of glory. I come before you right now and I'm asking you to wash away all my sins and to forgive me for all that I've done wrong. I repent for my wicked ways, Ahia. I thank you for your beautiful son, Yesiah. And I pray that you help me to live a life of repentance and give out the things that's pleasing to you in this world. Thank you for salvation and for saving me. I said I pray, I believe in your heart. Welcome to the body of Christ. We believe in Acts 2 verse 38 where the Bible talks about repentance. You need to find a man of most uh, higher and ask him to fully baptize you, fully dunk in water. When you go down in water, you're saying that Yesiah died on the cross. When you go down in water, you're saying that Yesiah... Um, um, you say that you said that on the cross, you believe in the torment of sin. When the man of the most I raise you out of the water, you're raised into new life, you're raised into the glory and the power of Christ, resurrection, beautiful stuff. So be bold, be strong, be courageous, walk with a higher, just like Enoch and have the mindset of Job. 
all praises, all beautiful praises to the Most High who lives above the heavens. I eternally bless you. I love you all, and I will see you soon someday in glory. In Yesaya's holy name, in the name. They say the benediction. Benediction is Jude chapter 1. Jude chapter 1, verses 24 to 25. The Bible reads, Now unto him that is able to keep you from falling, and to present you faultless before the presence of his glory with exceeding joy, told you and wise, Yesaya, our Savior. Be glory and majesty, dominion and power, both now and ever. Amen and amen. Amen. Blessings.